The Butterfly Effect, not the movie, but a fundraiser right here in San Francisco. And to talk about it, we have Veronica Klaus and T.J. Lee on the couch with us. Welcome Hi to the Donna. program. Hi. You've been on here many times with us, Veronica. Yes. Welcome back. We love Thank having you. you here. Nice to be and here. And T.J., meeting you for the first time on the couch. Very nice what's to meet the you. Effect? What's the effect? What's the Butterfly Effect? Is it an event? Go ahead. It's a fundraiser for Jeffrey Hargraves, who's a longtime theater veteran here in, in the city. And Jeffrey was diagnosed with uh, bone cancer in August of 2005. And we realized as he was going through treatment that uh, there weren't any services out there for him. He couldn't go to the AIDS Emergency Fund or the Breast Cancer Fund because he didn't fit into the diagnosis for that. So one of his friends started uh, the group, the fundraising group, to uh, raise some money for him and help defray some of the costs of the chemo and everything. So It sounds like it's a very grassroots thing then. So friends of his have said, yes. we have a friend in need and we're going to help him, which is really the foundation of so many of our AIDS organizations. You know, it was people sitting in their living room, people are getting sick and dying, let's help them. So that's a, it's a wonderful way for something to start. Mm -hmm. Are you a friend of Jeffrey's yourself? I am. I am. So it, it will be very close to your heart, too. Yeah. What, what's it yeah. consist of, Veronica? It's obviously music, if you're involved, I'm sure. Yeah, well, the butterfly effect, you know, we're, we're a bunch of uh, a group of Jeffrey's friends, basically, and co-workers in the theater, uh, actors that he's worked with, that kind of thing, who are coming together to produce this benefit. And the theory behind the butterfly effect is that, you know, a very small action, as it radiates out, makes big changes. And uh, um, that's what we're that's what we're trying to do with Jeffrey. And, you know, anybody out there who would like to make a donation, no matter how small it is, that can accomplish the same right. thing. Um, and they can go right to the website. They can go to the website, to uh, jeffreyhartgraves.com uh, also, or, or the rhino .org. Well, Maybe one of the effects of this organization or this fundraiser might be, too, to open our eyes to the fact that there are uh, needs that might not be addressed by many of the organizations. Sometimes we think we have too many organizations, but right. maybe they're not addressing specific needs like right. this. Um, are you a singer, an actor as well, or what is your participation in the I'm show? I'm an, actually an actor. Okay. And you'll be in the show doing... I will. Okay, good. And yeah. it's, I looked at the lineup of entertainers. I mean, many people we know, some names that are fresh to me. So yes. basically a variety show is what it's it will a, be. It's a, going to be a variety show. There'll be uh, comedy music, uh, some monologues, some what surprises. What is the setting? Where is it? Uh, it's a theater rhino. Okay. It's a theater rhino. Um, let's see, um, myself, TJ, uh, uh, no, I'm, Connie Champagne, Lee Crow, Trauma oh, Flintstone, Flintstone David Bika, David Marr, Good. Don Seaver, uh, Lee Crow, did I say Lee Crow? Um, lots of people. That's lots good. of people, good. yes, and I'm sure I've left somebody out because I They'll be can't calling recall later. it <laughs> at this very moment. <laughs> it's but, okay. Um, but we all have really some great surprises for that night where there's going to be some special material uh, written for I, that night. So. I've known you for a while, Veronica, and, and I know as a performer, part of the struggle in San Francisco and anywhere is to say, I, I love my music, I want to get my message across, I want to mm -hmm. be a professional performer, and then people come to you and say, you know, oh, we've got this cause, can you donate your time, can you do this for free? Right. How do you decide, how do you distinguish, where do you draw well, the line? Well, I mean, this one was not even a, this one was not even a question because Jeffrey has been a dear, dear friend of mine for many years, and he was also the co-writer of, uh, with me, uh, co-writer and director of my show, Family Jewels um, at Theater Rhino and, and the Exit Theater. So this, you know, this one, there was no, there was the no question. It was like, of course, of course, yeah. yes. And to see um, all those people just, rally around is great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of worthy causes out there. And you know, while you can't always say yes to everything, you know, you can, you can definitely do your best to. Right. Well, I, I encourage our viewers to look at the performers in town who are doing wonderful things, mm -hmm. support them in the things that they do charge for once in a while. Go well, to yeah, theater run, go to these concerts and support them where they can and then watch how they support us back. It's a two-way street. You know, we, yeah. we do have careers in the in, in Absolutely. The arts. Absolutely. So. And, which, by the way, I'm at Enrico's every Tuesday night. Okay. Well, a little <laughs> plug. I thought it would be nice that. little That's plug. Nice. Um, <laughs> but every Tuesday night at Enrico's and, uh, and uh, we're just very excited to well, see what's going to happen. Well, something's in San Francisco. There are new places that live music, music is happening. The new Raz mm -hmm, Room is mm -hmm, happening. Uh, mm -hmm. There are, you know, we were talking about <coughs> El Rio earlier. They have a salsa night on Sunday that's live music and things going on. So yes. let's encourage that with our participation and our, and our, you know, attendance. P.A. Right. Cooley. He'll kill me if I don't okay. say he's in the show. <laughs> one more name. He's the one that would be calling. Phone's ringing right now. All right, we'll make sure we're there. It's April the 20th. 
and it is at Theatre yes. Rhino. We will support it with our attendance, and uh, we'll go to the website and buy our tickets. Coming up, more information on Outspoken. Okay.